Oh, hi there, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Cardinal's Cauldrons here at Geektopia Island. I'm Cardinal. And I'm Kevin. And today, we have a basic archetype debt for magic, but you have to go through it. Every time a new set rotates, you gotta see if it's actually really good. And if anyone remembers, I kind of predicted the mono blue deck that was pretty awesome and amazing. Mm -hmm. But before we do, I want to remind you that we do have a Patreon. It only takes a dollar to support us, and we love you very much for it. And the link will be down below. Today, we are playing Blue White Flyers, and it's called To the Skies. I just was looking at it, and I was like, well, Blue White's pretty strong in general, and Flyers, you know, are always hard to deal with, and they're pretty powerful. Most of them are rares anyway, yeah. so we'll, we'll just jump into it. Uh, the first one is Skycat Sovereign. It's a white and a blue 1-1 one, one flying. It gets plus one, plus one for each other creature of flying. And then you can pay two white and a blue, create a 1-1 one, one white catbird creature token with flying. This way, it's a creature that buffs itself up and also produces more dudes if need be in the long run. So yeah. pretty good. In late game, if you have nothing else to do, you're just like, cool, make some cats. Yeah, why not? Constantly. Yeah. Uh, next is Watcher of the Spheres. He has a white and a blue for a 2-2 flyer. Creatures with flying you cast cost one less. Whenever you cast another creature, or whenever another creature with flying enters the battlefield under your control, put he gets 1-1 one, one until the end of the turn. Yep. So he can just slowly just start becoming <clears throat> bigger, and especially when you start creating tokens. He just gets bigger that way too, so it's pretty cute. Uh, of course we have to do Brazen Borrower because it's a control spell and a creature, so it's a 1 and 2 blue, 3-1 flash flying, can only block creatures with flying, but that's okay, but he has an adventure side which is Petty Theft, 1 and a blue, instant, return target non-land permanent opponent control suits on his hand. It's super powerful and it's super annoying to play against. All the time because you know they always have two in their hand and it just gets stupid yeah but you gotta have it just because this gives you your answers to planeswalkers that are about to go off yeah whatever. you're just like nah get out of here uh next is linvala shield of the seagate it is a white blue and one for a three three flyer at the beginning of combat of your turn if you have a full party Which, choose to target non-land permanent yeah. opponent controls until the next turn you can't attack block Blah, blah, blah. Well, we won't be using that, but... Sacrifice Linvala, choose Hexproof or Indestructible. Creatures you control gain that ability until the end of turn. Yeah. So she can help save all your stuff for a turn, which is kind of nice if you need it. Yeah, exactly. The one thing about slightly aggro matchup, or decks like this, is that by turn four or five, your board's going to get wiped. Possibly. This way, Linvala, make sure you have dudes on the field, mm -hmm. and you keep swinging. And hopefully, uh, they'll try to board wipe, and you have to waste her. That's okay. Uh, Legion Angel, it's two and a, two white, four three flying. Enters the battlefield, you may reveal a card you own name Legion Angel from outside the game and put it in your hand. So obviously we only have one in the deck. And you have three sideboards, so when you get there, then you just basically have three more cards in your deck that you didn't know you had. Mm -hmm. And it's a four three flyer, so it's gonna like, do some beats really, really quickly. Next is the Dream Trawler. It is two white, two blue, and a and two for a three five flying lifelink. Whenever you draw a card, it gets plus one plus zero. Oh. Whenever it attacks, you draw a card and you discard a card. It gains hexproof until the end of turn and then tap it. This card is still one of the best cards you can still play because it's just it's a big it's a good beater for control yeah. and it protects itself. And that's why it's so strong because it has the ability to draw a card or like when you draw cards, it gets bigger. It's just it's just it's, a really solid card for what blue white means. Exactly. Just. Well, like you said, one of the most powerful creatures in standard. Just why not play it, right? Yeah. All right. Uh, the first spell we have, Angelic Ascension. It's one in a blue instant. Exile target creature or planeswalker. The controller gets a four-four white angel creature token with flying. This is for your dudes. Your guys are gonna die. So therefore, why not have a four-four flyer to back it up? Yeah. Just to replace their kill spell, pretty much. Uh, next is the Glass Cascade. It is a white and one for an artifact. Whenever it enters the battlefield, exile target creature and opponent controls with Proven Man costs three or less until Glass Cascade leaves the battlefield. Yep. So it's just your creature removal. Get out of here. Simple as that. And three is pretty good. That's a good you know. Lofty Denial. One in blue instant. Counter target spell unless it pays one. If you control a creature with flying, controller pays uh, four instead. <laughs> I really don't like running cre or counter spells at all in general. I don't like it that much if I'm not playing full control, but this is just a simple, cheap one to actually make it a counter spell, you know? Yeah. Because you're gonna have, hopefully, creatures with flying all the time. Uh, Staggering Insight is a blue and white for an enchantment aura. Uh, enchanted creature gets plus one, plus one, and has lifelink, and whenever this creature does combat damage to a player, draw a card. So again, we're doing extra card draw for aggro. Yep. Remember Curious Obsession? Yeah, it's a yeah. great card. What this is, pretty much. Vanishing Light, of course, because it's two white and an enchantment. 
uh, enters the field, battlefield, exile a target and online permanent opponent controls until it leaves the battlefield. This just gets whatever you need out of the way. Simple as that. And that is the deck. Uh, the lands we have, of course, is Fable Passage, Island, Plains, and unfortunately there is no dual land in the new set for this, and I have a lot of blue-white cards, so I am going back on my pinky promise and saying Temple of Enlightenment has to be in it. It's the only way to get it. So it comes into play, you know, it's a scry land, it has dual colors, simple as that. Yeah. And that is it. Like I said, for the sideboard, you just have more legions because you need to play more and shoot out there. But with that, hopefully you enjoy the deck. Uh, the deck list will be down below. Uh, next week we'll have it displayed on Arena so you can actually see how it plays. And hopefully you enjoyed your stay here in Geektopia Island. Goodbye. Later. Also guys, make sure you hit that like button down below and subscribe to our channel. And then hit that bell for any future notifications that you have for our videos. And we go ahead and give a big uh, thank you to our fans for over the years. Especially our Mythic and Above Patreon followers. Thank you, Ryan. Uh, with that, we love you. Thank you for your support.